You know, there's a misconception that gun owners are Republican and the soft people who don't like to fight are Democrats. That's not true at all. Not one bit. I've been a Democrat my entire life. It started with JFK when I was three. I watched him get shot on TV. Yeah. And uh, as the cover pic stated, here's a picture of me training with Marines and CIA ops in Hawaii at the Kaneohe Marine Corps base in 1998. And... I'm right here using an H&K MP5, but during the course, the weeks that I was there, I got trained on AK-47s, which use every kind of... You can pick up any bullet on the battlefield, and an AK-47 will fire it. M60s, everything that they had available at the firearms training scenario school. And with realistic shoot, don't shoot, breach, invasion type of scenarios. And I did them all. And I scored pretty high. The one guy said, well, Ed, talking about my dad, did you train your son to shoot? Nope. I learned it on my own. It came naturally. But... If you like guns, the first thing they do when a dictator takes over, and don't be fooled by a presidential election where the guy is saying he wants to be dictator for a day. The first thing a dictator does is relieve the public, the civilians, of their weapons so only military and law enforcement can own them. That's it, because so many people are going to be so angry with this guy if he gets elected. People are going to try to shoot him every day. Probably the same people that elected him are going to want to do that. So he's going to come to your house. I'm not kidding. They've got your name and number if you bought a gun legally. And all Republicans are proud to be an owner of a legal weapon. The only people who don't buy them from gun stores and go through that process are people who have been in prison, people who may not have a solid citizenship. No, they know where you live, just like in the movie Red Dawn. They came to the people's houses and searched your house for guns. And they took them. If you didn't give them up, they took you to a camp. There are FEMA camps built around the country. There's at least two in every state. They built them in 2000, preparing for something else, but they could be used for just about anything. And I used to get the uh, government sheet for jobs you can bid on, and they were... Staffing the FEMA camps. People are saying, oh, you lie. I don't do anything on here that I don't get. I'm also an Associated Press member. I have that clearance, and they send me through a feed all kinds of stories that journalists will pick up and send to their outlets. Nothing I have put on YouTube has not come through those channels. But, you know, oh, you're a liar. I'll tell you this. I'm going to blow it for you. There is no Santa Claus. And there is no Jesus coming back ever. And why would he come to the USA? People are jerks here. So... Take it with a grain of salt, take it with an aspirin, or probably, you'll probably drink a bottle of Jack Daniels and think about it. But yes, this is true. Your guns are at risk if you vote for Trump. He's counting on the gun owners, the gun owners, he's counting on the gun owners to believe him. And when it happens, well, they're law-abiding citizens, right? 
So when they come knock, knock, knocking at your door, you got to give them what they got on their list. Some people <laughs> have three or four hundred weapons. Well, they'll bring a truck. Yep, believe it or not, a dictator is nothing. To, it's not the same. Going to be, he says in both Agenda Forty Seven and Project Twenty Twenty Five, he is going to rewrite the Constitution. Do you think a guy who is definitely going to be the enemy is going to keep, oh, yeah, you can have guns so you can fight us? No, that's going to be the first to go. And people who have come here legally with green cards are going to get deported. It's going to cost trillions of dollars to do all this stuff. And you know who's going to pay for it? It's going to be you the middle class public, and all of you are middle class unless you're making a billion dollars a year. That's it. Thank you. Good night.